When it comes to personalizing your home, there are so many easy DIYs that you can do successfully. In this DIY, we're gonna show you how to install an architrave around the frame of the door. It's so easy to do and it looks fantastic at the end of the day. Let's get stuck in and show you how to do it. All the materials that we need are molding, construction adhesive, and some panel pins. A caulking gun, a spirit level, a measuring device, a pencil, a hammer and a punch, and a mitre box or a mitre saw. Now, there are a number of different ways of installing architrave. This is the method that I like to use the best. Start off with a combination square, your measuring device, and a pencil, and offset each piece approximately six to 12 millimeters. Keep that measurement the same all the way around for the perimeter of the door. I don't like to butt it right up against the edge, otherwise you start very easily to see any misalignment and stuff like that. If you offset it, it helps disguise anything that you've done wrong previously in the past. And that'll be my first corner piece where I'm gonna be cutting at 45 degrees. Let's go all the way down to the bottom, using the combination square, and I haven't adjusted it, so it's still gonna be the same measurement. And I can pop one in the middle just for reference point of view. Exactly the same on the other side. As you can see, I've got a piece of architrave here, which I've already stained and sealed, and it's just gonna save me a bit of time later on. Now, when it comes to cutting your architrave to size, you can measure that measurement, or you can just take your piece and line it up into position and mark it off with a pencil. I find it's much more accurate that way and you're not likely to make a mistake. From there, you're gonna cut off at 45 degrees using a mitre saw box or a mitre saw. That's my first piece cut. Pop it into position. We can just double check. And that perfectly matches up with that corner at that intersection point. Now's the fun part. Apply some adhesive on the back side, hold it into position, and then we're gonna pin it down with the nails so it can't move. Once that first piece is in position, just secure it down with a hammer and a panel pin. Now you can leave that nail head flush like that, or you can take a punch and just bury that nail head slightly below the surface and it's easier to fill later on. You only need to put down three or four pins to secure it into place. If your trim is warped slightly, this is where the panel pins come into play. Now, you'll see that architrave goes all the way down to the floor. If you do have a skirting on the bottom edge, it is gonna interfere. Most people like to just trim off that skirting so the architrave goes all the way through the skirting to the floor. My first piece is in. I'm now gonna start with the top piece. Start off with your first cut at 45 degrees. Hold it into position to get that marking point on those intersection lines that we did earlier. Once you're happy with the top piece, Put that down and measure up your side piece to match up to that same intersection point. Once you've got your other two pieces cut, hold them into position and just double check that everything is cut correctly before you start securing them into position. It's good to put a bit of adhesive in between the mating joints, that way it'll fill up if any gaps occur. Wipe off any excess adhesive with a clean rag. Any misalignment can be filled with some wood filler and then just touch up to match with your existing paint with. There you go, the last piece of architrave is in position. I've touched up all the nail heads and the DIY is complete. That was a really simple and easy, effective DIY for you to personalize your very own home. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to the Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos just like this for you to be inspired, get to Builders and get it done.